Hello and welcome back to Dark Souls. And on this episode, we are going to be tackling the Painted World. So once you've left the bonfire, you just come up here and you will find a few of these hollows. These are pretty much going to be the most common enemies in this area. There will be these and there will be the torch hollows and there will also be another type which is really annoying. Who we will see later. And actually... Uh, I can't remember whether they poison you or toxic you. So I'll just put both of them in easy access. I got a bit lucky there that I uh, caught that one who was behind me. Ah! Good god, here they are. These annoying fuckers. Basically, as soon as you kill them... I didn't kill them in one hit. I thought I was going to kill them in one hit. As soon as you kill them, get the fucking hell away from them. Because at least, as far as I understand, they will poison you or toxic you, as it might actually be, if you stand close to them after you've killed them. I think they can also do it, they will spew sort of spores around and they can also do it through that, but uh, the worst one is when you kill them and they still they still damage you. But if you go up to that roof, you can come down here and grab the dried finger. Uh, but this, these crow women will attack me now. I completely forgot about them. Are they going to drop down into here? Yes, and they're going to do their little bastard crow grab attack thing that is like the worst thing of this area. Kill you and quickly heal. Now I'm sure there were two, but I can't see where that other crow has gone. You are going to have to die, mate. There we go. I fucked that up and got toxic. That is how easy it is to just cock this up. Fortunately, I still have the remainders of my 20 Astus from Filing Shrine, so I still only have... I still have 17 Astus Flasks, which should be more than enough for me to get through this area and reach the first the uh, bonfire that's in. Or is there a bonfire? I don't think there is a bonfire, actually. I think it's just you open a shortcut to the uh, first bonfire in the area. Either way, should still have enough. So I'm going to kill you and then get away. I didn't manage to. Fine, I'm toxic. I'll just take you out since you're probably going to toxic me. So I might as well just uh, wait to heal myself. Oh, damn it. I used the wrong one. I used the purple moss. I've got to use the blooming purple moss. Okay. Now, usually I would be more focused on getting items now, but I've actually started to realise that the best thing to do in this situation would probably be complete the painted world. Because I'd forgotten quite how much I actually hated this area. So what you can do is you can go up these stairs. And uh, at the top there is... A, oh god this crow is going to come after me so I'm going to have to fight it now. Uh, there is At the top there is a red sign soap so uh, A red sign soap stone. And similar to the white sign soap... Uh, I cannot speak. I don't know why I switched through my items there, I already had the bloody thing equipped. Well, I've been toxic again. Jesus Christ. Um, similar to the red uh, the red sign soapstone, similar to the white sign soapstone, allows you to write your uh, summon sign on the floor and be summoned in by other players. However, what makes it different from the white sign soapstone is that you don't get summoned in to help. You get summoned in for a duel, basically you get summoned in to fight the host. But uh, once you come down this area, you will want to traverse the white light and go through this. And where does this bring us? Ah yes, this this goddamn area. Right, these things they can be pretty damaging, but they're pretty easy to deal with. You just need to keep circling them and then swing and then circle a bit more and then swing. They will slash at you with their weapons and if you're far enough away from them they will throw them as well. You want to try and avoid hitting their shields. 
Oh, I hit that one's shield then. But uh, this is a good way to farm soul. Oh god, Torch Hollow. It's a good way to farm souls if you use a bonfire and respawn all these guys and then come back through and take them all out. God damn it. Where do you bastards get your infinite spears from? Right, I've nearly taken care of all of them now. Oh god. I do not need this right now, crow work woman thing. I do not need this right now. Oh god, there's another one behind me, isn't there? Oh no, I think that might have actually just been an actual crow. Uh, let me kill this guy, and then I will fight you, crow thing. Right. Oh god, how do I hate this? How much do I hate this area? Quite a lot. That is how much I hate this area. Quite a goddamn lot. Now. Which way do I want to go from here? I'm going to go this way. And uh, take on this torch hollow. Now there are a few hollows around here and they will be hiding behind these... Uh, I suppose they're cages, are they? I think... I mean, they have bars on the roof. They seem... Uh, they seem like a cage. But just be wary when you're coming round them, because as I said, hollows will be hiding round behind them. Once you've taken them all out, you can come over here and grab these items. And then, as you walk over here, we should get an NPC invasion. There we go, King Jeremiah. And uh, this guy's a pyromancer, and he also has a whip. So watch out for his fire. He's pretty weak. I can stun lock him and then just take him out like that, and he will uh, he will be dead now. And I should get some humanity off him. Yeah, there we go. Now, you can get his outfit that he wears, the Xanthus set, but uh, we won't get that just yet. That's later on that we will be getting that. I can't remember how I opened the uh, shortcut to this bonfire. I'm sure there's a shortcut back to the bonfire, uh, but I think you need a key. And I can't remember where you get the key, so I'm just going to have to search around. Take out these hollow guys who are spawning. That was uh, pretty poor. I can cut that down, but where's that? That's right at the entrance, isn't it? God damn it. Uh, if I can get back to the entrance, I can get whatever the hell that item is. But, uh, if that's the way back, what's down here? Oh, yeah. 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 We are about to have a an encounter with what might possibly be the most annoying enemy in the entire game. I say enemy because I mean enemy type. I don't mean that there's only one of them. And that is these guys. Bone wheel skeletons. They are basically skeletons that are attached to wheels. And dear god they will kill you quickly if you let them. They will just run into you and they will drain like all your stamina and then there will be like three of them at the same time and you will just end up getting screwed. Fortunately I'm doing alright now because I've got them on their own. I'm not sure how... Oh, God. I've got this thing stuck to me. There we go. I'm not sure how many more there are. I think there's at least a couple more. Oh, God. There's one. 
doesn't help that they're not particularly easy to see in the uh, darkness of this area. Yep, there's one more. I think that's it. I think there's five, if I remember correctly. Obviously, I don't remember correctly because that guy just missed me then. So there was six. Yep, that seems to be it. Okay. Now you do need to come down here because you need to come down here and flick this switch or rotate this thing. And what that does is it will rotate the statue. And this statue will now face towards that door and open it. And that door leads to the boss fight. So now we need to go back there. But first, I am going to find the goddamn key that opens the path back to the bonfire. I don't think I'm going to go back and heal because I'm still going to have more uh, Estus flasks now than if I went back and healed unless I kindled the fire as well. Uh, so I don't think I'm going to go back and heal. I think I'm just going to open the door so that if I were to die to this boss fight, uh, I can get back qui uh, quickly. And I think the key might be down here. Unfortunately, what is also down here are more of these bastards. And uh, these guys, they become... I've never actually hit this, but this looks like an illusory wall, if ever I saw one. I don't think I've ever looked down this way before. Uh, oh, good god. I didn't think he'd come around that corner then. I think this might just be a shortcut, actually. Yeah, it's just a shortcut. It leads to the same area you will be in normally. So that's the Annex key, and I... I think there are other things down here. Uh, that's not the way out, is it? It's a ladder that I'm looking for. There may be other things down here, but I'm sure there are also other bone wheel skeletons. And I would rather avoid them. Right, which way did I come when I came into... Oh, I'm so lost in this maze. This is another illusory wall, isn't it? Oh! Oh! Well, I never knew that shortcut was there. God damn it, where's the exit? There it is. Okay. Okay. So now we've got the annex key. I believe that is the key that allows us to open the shortcut back to the bonfire, but I could be completely wrong. I think it's this door here. Oh, it's one of you guys. How lovely. How nice of you to toxic me. That's so kind. Great, of course there's more of them. I'm going to resist healing now until I've uh, made sure there's none of these guys left. I'm not sure where I actually am now. I thought this was a shortcut back to the bonfire, but it doesn't actually appear to be so now. And I'm very worried that I'm about to die. Let's at least find out what this item was here that we found. Oh, it's a humanity. Brilliant. Right, I'm just going to run through this area. Might not be the best idea I've ever had, but uh, I'm just going to go for... 
the strategy of just running as fast as you can past all the enemies and hoping for the best. This is actually going surprisingly well. Well, you know what? There were 60,000 souls, and I did have a soft humanity. But I think I can probably afford to lose that. So, uh, I'm just going to go with going to fight the boss, basically. I don't think I'll need those 60,000 souls. I think I will level up between now and the end of the game, but I don't think I will need to level up that much that I can't afford to lose those souls, so... Yeah. What you want to do is you want to come down here, and then once you've taken out that second archer, a load of guys will spawn. And uh, if you can time it right like that, you can kill them all in one go. Brilliant. And then there's this dude. This huge, huge guy. And what we're going to do here is we're going to get round the back. The same as we've done every time this guy has shown up before. And just hit him in the back with a huge two-handed attack. And hit one more. Any attack should do it. Okay. Actually, does he drop anything before I run away? Tower shield and a... Was that a large shard? I skipped past it too quickly to even notice, but yeah. I've not had them drop the shields before. That must be a rare drop that I got lucky with. So we're going to heal up here. And uh, I'm going to make sure throwing knives are equipped. And you will see why pretty quickly. Hello, Priscilla. You are now about to say the most absurd thing in this entire game. Who art thou? One of us thou art not. If thou hast misstepped into this world, plunge down from the plank and hurry home. If thou seekest I, thine desires shall be requited not. Go on. Say thou it. returneth whence thou came. This land is peaceful. Its inhabitants kind. Yeah. Thou dost not belong. This land is peaceful. Its inhabitants kind. From the plank and hurry home. So we can actually just not fight her. If you see those stairs behind, you can actually just walk over there and you walk off the edge and that takes you out of the painted wells. But that is not why we're here. We are here to murder this woman who is um, part dragon. And while it looks like she's got a fairy tail and you wouldn't necessarily associate that with dragons, um, you can cut her tail off. And uh, I'm sure that's something that only dragons have in this game. Or mo it's mostly dragons that have that, so people suggest that she is in fact a dragon. Now if you cut her tail off, you get a dagger. I've never actually managed to do it. I seem to deal damage too quickly to her at this point that I just sort of kill her before. Plus it's also incredibly hard to hit her tail. Because she turns invisible. And that's where the throwing knives come in. If you look down on the snow, you can see her footprints. If you throw a throwing knife at her, and actually hit her, there we go. Your throwing knife sticks in her, allowing you to see where the hell she actually is. And she just took a hell of a lot of my health there, and I've still got throwing knives equipped and not Estus flasks. Has that knife disappeared that quickly? Or is it because I threw another one? I wonder if it's because I threw another one the first one despawned. Oh, I'm terrible at these. Oh my god, where is she? Because I think I'm hitting her, but apparently I'm just not hitting her at all. I would really appreciate it if I could see this boss. Oh, there we go. Got it. So now that I can see where the goddamn hell she is, I can hit her. And, uh, oh, she's actually turned visible again. So I can actually hit 
And I can actually, like, have a fair fight against her. She's a pretty easy boss fight once you can get over how to deal with her invisibility. Where are you? There you are. Or not. There you are. Come on, you must be nearly dead now. One more hit will do it. Oh. Yes. Oh. But why? Your soul, basically. Uh, I mean, to be honest, I had nothing against you. I'm just trying to defeat every boss in this game, and you happen to be one of them. So once you've beaten there, you come up here. If you beat the uh, King Jeremiah, you can get his set. Which I'm just going to put on now, just to uh, highlight the ridiculousness of it. I mean, the coat, gloves, and waist cloth are not particularly ridiculous, but Jesus Christ, what is that headgear? Like, seriously, what is what is going on with that? I have no idea. Anyway, put my Elite Knight set back on, and as I said before, you literally just walk off the edge. And this will take you back out of the painted world. And there we go. Now, unfortunately, these guys have all respawned. Now that I come out of there. So I am going to have to deal with all of these again. As I make my way back across this room. And die. And you too. And you. This room seems far easier to navigate on the way back. Mainly because you can sneak attack a load of them. I didn't even like get a backstab on that one, I just I still uh Oh god that guy. Oh god. That's three of them at the same time. It's not ideal. But there we go. Dealt with those dudes. Or women, I don't know. Maybe both. Maybe male and female these. The long flowing gowns don't really give much away in Dark Souls because they could just be sort of like I don't know you know, religious or something I don't know I mean, they're painting guardians so the idea is that they were obviously put there to I don't know, maybe a combination of two things, maybe one or the other, and those two things are either stopping people getting into the painting, or stopping things coming out of the painting. Because if you look at the description of the, pe uh, of the peculiar doll that we used to go in there, uh, there, was an there was once an abomination who had no place in this world, presumably crossbreed Priscilla, but it's never, it's never completely clarified, but it's presumably Priscilla. She clutched this doll tightly and eventually was drawn into a cold and lonely painted world. So it's presumed that she was put in there to keep her away from the rest of the world. So it's entirely possible that um, the Guardians are there to keep her in as much as they are to keep anyone else out. But they didn't do a particularly good job of keeping me out because I got in and managed to kill Priscilla. But that is it for the painted world. I'm pretty much just uh, making my way back to this Anna Alonso bonfire now so I can go back to Firelink. But I'm not going to go back to Firelink first because uh, what I am going to do is I'm going to do some preparation for what I'm going to do next. And uh, that is going to require me to have a weapon. Oh, I didn't get one. I did not get one. Okay. Well, what I like to do here is there is a particular weapon that I like to get for this part. Because the next part that I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be going into the catacombs. And, uh, Or catacombs. Either pronunciation's fine. Um, and for that part, it's not necessary, but it's, um, 
probably suggested that you should have. I've got a firekeeper soul that I've not used yet, so I'm going to talk to her and uh, reinforce my Estus flask. I now have plus three. That's awesome. Can I level up? I can. I'll put one in strength. Uh, basically, where I'm going to be going is uh, probably worth having a divine weapon. Now, I can't make my Black Knight Sword divine, nor would I want to if I could, because uh, I prefer having it as it is for later in the game. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my hands on another weapon that I can make divine. And the weapon that I like using at this part is the Man Serpent Greatsword. And you get the Man Serpent Greatsword by killing the Man Serpents of Sen's Fortress. So, in between this part and the next part, I'm going to do some uh, killing of them off screen until I'll, one of them drops the Man Serpent Greatsword. And then next part, I will show you how to make it divine, and then we'll go and tackle the catacombs. See you then.